everyone, I'm Jane Grohl, CEO of the DevOps Institute here at DevOps World, Jenkins World in San Francisco, and I'm really excited to be joined by James Lamberti of Apple Tools. Welcome. Thank you. Great for you to have us. I appreciate you doing what you're doing here. It's exciting. It's it's really exciting, right? I don't know if anybody can hear the buzz yeah. in the background, but the energy is really palpable here. It definitely is. Yeah. yeah, interesting. So James, tell us a little bit about Apple Tools and kind of what you're expecting out of DevOps world during the next couple of days. Yeah, sure. So Apple Tools, for those who aren't familiar, we are essentially exist to make sure the UI is visually perfect on every device, operating system, screen, mobile, desktop. Uh, and so that's what we do. And so we actually are a pretty unique uh, entity here at, 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 uh, at Jenkins World this year. Um, and you know, what do we want out of it? I mean, the theme this year is transform, as you know. And essentially the, the issue or the problem that we solve for pretty much everyone in this room is digital transformation. So we tie in really nicely and you know, what digital transformation, I know it's an industry buzzword, but really what that means in a practical sense is, you know, the UI for most brands in the world typically exists now in 500 to 1000 variations at this very moment in time. I mean, you think about your, our, just our everyday lives, constantly coming across broken UI and there is no brand spared. The largest brands in the world routinely have broken UI. And um, it's, you know, that's really what we're here to transform is we can get beyond this now. We built technology at Apple Tools that essentially solves for that problem and ensures a visually perfect world as the t-shirt says. But you know, the UI is really the user experience, right? Yeah. So, you know, the influence of the interface and how the user perceives that often shapes the perception of the of the product, right? So what's yeah. your experience? What are users really looking for in terms of their UI experience? I mean, I think fundamentally, um, they want it to work. I mean, honestly, like you get, we, we are to a point where this transformation and the number of iterations of the UI is so overwhelming R&D and dev teams simply can't get up. And there's some sense that they've given up. And honestly, customers see that. Um, now, the problem with that approach is that a customer can switch on a dime. I mean, I, I won't name brands right now, but I was just trying to book an airline ticket. And I literally had a responsive design issue on my mobile device. I could not check out. I, the button, the, it passed a functional test, right? From a, from a test automation uh, right. discussion. I was clicking the button to try to buy the ticket and it literally was not working and I needed to get it done. I just switched to another airline. So implications are pretty clear. It, you can have a UI issue or bug that just looks bad for the brand, like doesn't cast a great impression, but more importantly, you can literally break the customer experience to the point where they just switch on the dime. So, uh, you know, we're in a world and a situation where um, we can't just give up anymore and there's no need to give up. Like you can actually solve for this problem through visual AI, which is what we do. We've actually created a technology that in real time, at scale, inspects the UI, spots the difference between what should be and what is, alerts the, the R&D team either pre-production or in monitoring and allows them to fix it. And so um, it's been a huge step forward for the industry and really completes that test automation chain, if you will, right? Because the UI, the reason the UI is such a problem is it's it exists outside a lot of the automation frameworks we've built up, right? And so we no longer have to suffer this way. And I, I think that's awesome. I mean, I think the example that you gave really shows that it often can affect the bottom line. Oh, right. Absolutely. So it's, it's, it's not just pretty, right? right? It's not superfluous. It actually does have a strong influence on Huge brand influence. recognition and, and everything that's yeah. associated with that, which is fantastic. Yeah. So we're here at DevOps World. So do you guys have any announcements that you want to kind of sneak peek us Yeah, with? no. So I think the, probably the most exciting thing, and we just announced it a couple days ago, uh, is the world's first UI version control system. And so uh, let me explain what that means. Essentially, we have integrated with GitHub, and we are, for the first time ever, you can actually tie your 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 merge, right, your your branch, your fork, your merge into your GitHub repo to the, the UI directly. So you're seamlessly linking the UI to that particular code merge and tracking that history, you know, forever. 
Um, and so now you're in a situation where if there's a UI issue, you can tie it back to what merge uh, caused oh, that issue. Awesome. And you have a history of, okay, we made these changes. Who made these changes? Why do we make these changes? What exactly did the, did the UI look like before these changes? And what branch or fork was you know the one we need to fall back to? And so that's just, I mean, it's actually a really extraordinary and simple concept, but for us to have the visual tied to that that code build is um, transformative for how we deal with this problem I was just describing around digital transformation. So that's a big announcement, and it's really, really exciting. That's uh, extremely exciting. Yeah. I mean, again, sometimes we don't think of the UI as part of the repo, and, and being able to tie that together and track back makes a lot of exactly. sense. So, yeah. so thank you for You're spending welcome. some time. Really looking forward to the rest of the conference. We've just yeah, kicked absolutely. off a little while ago, and really wish you a lot of luck with your great announcement. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you, DevOps.com.